Onboard diagnostics OBD is an automotive term referring to a vehicle's self-diagnostic and reporting capability. OBD systems give the vehicle owner or repair technician access to the status of the various vehicle subsystems. The amount of diagnostic information available via OBD has varied widely since its introduction in the early 1980s versions of onboard vehicle computers. Early versions of OBD would simply illuminate a malfunction indicator light or idiot light if a problem was detected but would not provide any information as to the nature of the problem. Modern OBD implementations use a standardized digital communications port to provide real-time data in addition to a standardized series of diagnostic trouble codes, or DTCs, which allow one to rapidly identify and remedy malfunctions within the vehicle. History 1968, Volkswagen introduces the first onboard computer system with scanning capability, in their fuel-injected Type 3 models. 1978, Datsun 280Z onboard computers begin appearing on consumer vehicles, largely motivated by their need for real-time tuning of fuel injection systems. Simple OBD implementations appear, though there is no standardization in what is monitored or how it is reported. 1980, General Motors implements a proprietary interface and protocol for testing of the engine control module ECM on the vehicle assembly line. The Assembly Line Diagnostic Link ALDL protocol broadcasts at 160-bit, S. Implemented on California vehicles for the 1980 model year, and the rest of the United States in 1981. In most cases, the ECM engine control module can be made to display DTCs diagnostic trouble codes as a flashing pattern on the cell check engine lamp or mill malfunction indicator lamp. A PC-based software package called Winaldal will listen to the CLCC closed loop carburetor control and early CLCFE data streams over a fairly easy to construct interface cable that converts the 160 BU TTL serial data being transmitted by the ECM to 232 rupees or USB serial data but there is not much information transmitted by these early ECMs. 1986, an upgraded version of the ALDL protocol appears which communicates at 8192-bit, S with half-duplex UART signaling. This protocol is defined in GMXDE5024B. 1988, the Society of Automotive Engineers say, recommends a standardized diagnostic connector and set of diagnostic test signals. 1991, the California Air Resources Board CARB requires that all new vehicles sold in California in 1991 and newer vehicles have some basic OBD capability. These requirements are generally referred to as OBDI, though this name is not applied until the introduction of OBD2. The data link connector and its position are not standardized, nor is the data protocol. 1994, motivated by a desire for a statewide emissions testing program, the CARB issues the OBD2 specification and mandates that it be adopted for all cars sold in California starting in model year 1996 CCCR Title 13 Section 1968.1 and 40 CFR Part 86 Section 86.094. The DTCs and connector suggested by the SEI are incorporated into this specification. 1996, the OBD2 specification is made mandatory for all cars manufactured in the United States to be sold in the United States. 2001, the European Union makes EOBD mandatory for all gasoline petrol vehicles sold in the European Union, starting in MY2001 see European Emission Standards Directive 9869, EC. 2003, the European Union makes EOBD mandatory for all diesel cars sold in the European Union. 2008, certain light vehicles in China are required by the Environmental Protection Administration Office to implement OBD standard GB18352 by July 1, 2008. Some regional exemptions may apply. 2010, HDOBD heavy duty specification is made mandatory for selected commercial non-passenger car engines sold in the United States. Topic: <laughs> Standard interfaces. Topic: <laughs> ALDL. 
GM's ALDL assembly line diagnostic link is a General Motors proprietary onboard diagnostic interface that started with the late 1970s and early 1980s CLCC closed loop carburetor control and early GM FE systems. There's an appearance of standardization because the diagnostic jack didn't change over the years ALDL was utilized by GM. GM North America used a proprietary 12 position Metropac 280 diagnostic jack. GM Australia Holden used a 6 position Metropac 280 diagnostic jack. The GM Europe Opel and Vauxhall used a 10 position Metropac 280 diagnostic jack. ALDL was not a standard. It was actually extremely fragmented. The information exchange changed with each powertrain control module aka PCM, ECM, AQ. A PCM integrates transmission and engine control on one processing unit. ECM, AQ are engine control only with a separate TCM transmission control module if needed, while ALDL is the closest thing to standard onboard diagnostics prior to 1991 ALDL was not a standard. ALDL was even fragmented within GM brands, models, and model years. Trim levels in the same model year, division, and nameplate can use different communications. Different versions presented differences in diagnostic jack pinouts, data protocols, and data rates this is the reason for the mask files needed for aftermarket software communication. Earlier versions used 160-bit, S, while later versions went up to 8192-bit, S and used bi-directional communications to the PCM or ECM slash TCM. Aldel on 1991 and later California Emissions GM vehicles met the 1991 and later California OBDI communication standard. This does not mean that ALDL is OBDI OBDI was an early 1990s California-only mandate, not a United States federal mandate. It was not used on non-California emissions vehicles. Some Asian, European, and North American diagnostic ports are sometimes incorrectly referred to as ALDL. A small number of vehicles manufactured before 1996 from other manufacturers used the GM Delphi Electronics engine and powertrain controllers, however, these used a modified ALDL communication protocol. Most did not and there was not a homogeneous name for these other proprietary diagnostic protocols and interface ports. Ford EEC, Toyota DLC, Chrysler, Nissan, Volkswagen, and others used their own onboard diagnostics protocols and connectors, and are also not OBDI compliant outside California. MOBD Multiplex OBD or MOBD is an OBD variant protocol used by Toyota, prior to OBD2 compliance. Toyota's DLC3 data link connector 3 is the standard 16-pin OBD2 connector, but a proprietary cable and software is required as generic OBD2 cables and software will not interface with it. The bus plus line is SIL pin 7. Topic. OBDI. A 1991 and later California standard. It is not a USA federal standard. The regulatory intent of OBDI was to encourage auto manufacturers to design reliable emission control systems that remain effective for the vehicle's useful life. The diagnostic trouble codes DTCs of OBDI vehicles can usually be found without an expensive scan tool. Each manufacturer used their own diagnostic link connector DLC, DLC location, DTC definitions, and procedure to read the DTCs from the vehicle. DTCs from OBDI cars are often read through the blinking patterns of the check engine light cell or service engine soon SES light. By connecting certain pins of the diagnostic connector, the check engine light will blink out a two-digit number that corresponds to a specific error condition. The DTCs of some OBDI cars are interpreted in different ways, however. Cadillac gasoline fuel-injected vehicles are equipped with actual onboard diagnostics, providing trouble codes, actuator tests and sensor data through the new digital electronic climate control display. Holding down off and warmer for several seconds activates the diagnostic mode without the need for an external scan tool. Some Honda engine computers are equipped with LEDs that light up in a specific pattern to indicate the DTC. 
General Motors, some 1989–1995 Ford vehicles DCL, and some 1989–1995 Toyota, Lexus vehicles have a live sensor data stream available, however, many other OBDI equipped vehicles do not. OBDI vehicles have fewer DTCs available than for OBD2 equipped vehicles. Topic OBD 1.5 OBD 1.5 refers to a partial implementation of OBD 2 which General Motors used on some vehicles in 1994 and 1995. OBD 1.5 is a colloquialism. GM did not use the term OBD 1.5 in the documentation for these vehicles, they simply have an OBD and an OBD 2 section in the service manual. Most of these 1994 and 1995 vehicles were simply 8196 BU ALDL serial data on the number 9 vendor option terminal of the J1962 jack that was formally adopted for OBD2 starting in 1996. For example, the 94 to 95 Corvettes have one post catalyst oxygen sensor, although they have two catalytic converters and have a subset of the OBD2 codes implemented. For a 1994 Corvette the implemented OBD2 codes are P0116 P0118, P0131 P0135, P0151 P0155, P0158, P0160 P0161, P0171 P0175, P0420, P1114 P1115, P1133, P1153 and P1 158. This hybrid system was present on the GMH body cars in 94 to 95. W body cars: Buick Regal, Chevrolet Lumina, 95 only; Chevrolet Monte Carlo, 95 only; Pontiac Grand Prix, Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme in 94 to 95. L body: Chevrolet Beretta, Corsica in 94 to 95. Y body: Chevrolet Corvette in 94 to 95. On the F body: Chevrolet Camaro and Pontiac Firebird in 95. And on the J body: Chevrolet Chevrolet Cavalier and Pontiac Sunfire and N body Buick Skylark Oldsmobile Achieva Pontiac Grand Am in 95 and 96 and also on 94 95 Saab vehicles with the naturally aspirated 2.3 the pinout for the ALDL connection on these cars is as follows: GM used at least two, number nine and number twelve, of what became seven vendor option terminals: one, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, along with number four chassis ground and number sixteen battery power in the formally accepted J1962 jack. While OBD2 interfaces will not communicate with these controllers they will not be damaged by plugging into these jacks either, an OBD1.5 compatible scan tool is required to read codes generated by OBD1.5. Additional vehicle-specific diagnostic and control circuits are also available on this connector. For instance, on the Corvette there are interfaces for the Class II serial data stream from the PCM, the CCM diagnostic terminal, the radio data stream, the airbag system, the selective ride control system, the low tire pressure warning system, and the passive keyless entry system. An OBD 1.5 has also been used on Mitsubishi cars of 95, 97 vintage, and in the Ford Scorpio since 95. Codes retrieved are still two-digit codes which still require an ALDL scan tool, a laptop and USB. USB ALDL interface with a properly pinned J1962 ALDL plug, or a GM Tech 2. Flash codes can be retrieved on 1994 1995 Corvettes by shorting number 12 vendor option to number 4 chassis ground. Topic OBD2 OBD2 is an improvement over OBDI in both capability and standardization. The OBD2 standard specifies the type of diagnostic connector and its pinout, the electrical signaling protocols available, and the messaging format. It also provides a candidate list of vehicle parameters to monitor along with how to encode the data for each. There is a pin in the connector that provides power for the scan tool from the vehicle battery, which eliminates the need to connect a scan tool to a power source separately. However, some technicians might still connect the scan tool to an auxiliary power source to protect data in the unusual event that a vehicle experiences a loss of electrical power due to a malfunction. Finally, the OBD2 standard provides list of standardized DTCs. As a result of this standardization, a single device can query the onboard computers for these parameters in any vehicle. 
OBD2 standardization was prompted to simplify diagnosis of increasingly complicated emissions equipment, and though only emission-related codes and data are required to be transmitted through it according to U.S. legislation, most manufacturers have made the OBD2 data link connector the main connector in the vehicle through which all systems are diagnosed and reprogrammed. OBD2 diagnostic trouble codes are four digit, preceded by a letter, P for engine and transmission powertrain, B for body, C for chassis, and U for network. Manufacturers may also add custom data parameters to their specific OBD2 implementation, including real-time data requests as well as trouble codes. Topic. OBD2 diagnostic connector The SEI J1962 specification provides for two standardized hardware interfaces, called Type A and Type B. Both are female, 16-pin D-shaped connectors, and both have a groove between the two rows of pins, but Type B's groove is interrupted in the middle. This prevents the insertion of a Type A male plug into a Type B female socket while allowing a Type B male plug to be inserted into a Type A female socket. The Type A connector is used for vehicles that use 12 volts supply voltage, whereas Type B is used for 24 volts vehicles and it is required to mark the front of the D-shaped area in blue color. Say J1962 defines the pinout of the connector as Unlike the OBDI connector, which was sometimes found under the hood of the vehicle, the OBD2 connector is required to be within 2 feet .61 meters of the steering wheel, unless an exemption is applied for by the manufacturer, in which case it is still somewhere within reach of the driver. <laughs> EOBD The EOBD European Onboard Diagnostics regulations are the European equivalent of OBD2 and apply to all passenger cars of category M1 with no more than 8 passenger seats and a gross vehicle weight rating of 2500 kg or less first registered within EU member states since the 1st of January 2001 for petrol gasoline engine cars and since the 1st of January 2004 for diesel engine cars for newly introduced models the regulation dates applied a year earlier the first of January 2000 for petrol and the 1st of January 2003 for diesel. For passenger cars with a gross vehicle weight rating of greater than 2,500 kg and for light commercial vehicles, the regulation dates applied from the 1st of January 2002 for petrol models and the 1st of January 2007 for diesel models. The technical implementation of EOBD is essentially the same as OBD2, with the same SEI J1962 diagnostic link connector and signal protocols being used. In 2017, all previous standards were revoked because there were more than 24 standards produced over 35 years. The new document supplanted all previous versions. Topic. EOBD fault codes. Each of the EOBD fault codes consists of five characters, a letter, followed by four numbers. The letter refers to the system being interrogated e.g. PXXXX would refer to the powertrain system. The next character would be a zero if complies to the EOBD standard. So it should look like P0XXX. The first letter indicates the family of DTC. P, powertrain, i.e. Engine and gearbox C, chassis B, body U, user network The first digit indicates if the code is generic or not green digit, zero, generic fault one, manufacturer fault the next character would refer to the subsystem. P00XX, fuel and air metering and auxiliary emission controls. P01XX, fuel and air metering. P02XX, fuel and air metering injector circuit. P03XX, ignition system or misfire. P04XX, auxiliary emissions controls. P05XX, vehicle speed controls and idle control system. P06XX, computer output circuit. P07XX, transmission. P08XX, transmission. The following two characters would refer to the individual fault within each subsystem. Topic JOBD JOBD is a version of OBD2 for vehicles sold in Japan. Topic ADR 7901 and 7902 Australian OBD standard. 
The ADR 7901 Vehicle Standard Australian Design Rule 7901 Emission Control for Light Vehicles, 2005 is the Australian equivalent of OBD2. It applies to all vehicles of category M1 and N1 with a gross vehicle weight rating of 3,500 kg or less, registered from new within Australia and produced since 1 January 2006 for petrol gasoline engine cars and since 1 January 2007 for diesel engine cars. For newly introduced models, the regulation dates applied a year earlier 1 January 2005 for petrol and January 2006 for diesel. The ADR 7901 standard was supplemented by the ADR 7902 standard which imposed tighter emissions restrictions, applicable to all vehicles of class M1 and N1 with a gross vehicle weight rating of 3,500 kg or less, from 1 July 2008 for new models, 1 July 2010 for all models. The technical implementation of this standard is essentially the same as OBD2, with the same SAE J1962 diagnostic link connector and signal protocols being used. Topic OBD2 signal protocols Five signaling protocols are permitted with the OBD2 interface, most vehicles implement only one. It is often possible to deduce the protocol, based on which pins are present on the J1962 connector, say J1850 PWM pulse width modulation, 41.6 kilobits per second, standard of the Ford Motor Company pin 2, bus plus pin 10, bus high voltage as plus 5V message length is restricted to 12 bytes, including CRC employs a multi-master arbitration scheme called Carrier Sense Multiple Access with Non-Destructive Arbitration CSMA, ND a, say J1850 VPW variable pulse width 10.4 kilobits per second standard of General Motors pin 2 bus plus bus idles low high voltage as plus 7 V decision point is plus 3.5 volts message length is restricted to 12 bytes including CRC employs CSMA NDA ISO 9141-2. This protocol has an asynchronous serial data rate of 10.4 kilobits per second. It is somewhat similar to minus 232 rupees, however, the signal levels are different, and communication happens on a single, bidirectional line without additional handshake signals. ISO 9141-2 is primarily used in Chrysler, European, and Asian vehicles. Pin 7, K line. Pin 15, L line. Optional. UART signaling. K line idles high, with a 510 ohm resistor to V bat. The active, dominant state is driven low with an open collector driver. Message length is max 260 bytes. Data field max 255. ISO 14230 KWP 2000 Keyword Protocol 2000 Pin 7, K line Pin 15, L line Optional Physical layer identical to ISO 9141-2 Data rate 1.2 to 10.4 kilobits per second. High signal voltage level, plus 12 volts min, max 9.60 to 13.5. Message may contain up to 255 bytes in the data field. ISO 15765 can 250 kilobits per second or 500 kilobits per second. The CAN protocol was developed by Bosch for automotive and industrial control. Unlike other OBD protocols, variants are widely used outside of the automotive industry. While it did not meet the OBD2 requirements for U.S. vehicles prior to 2003, as of 2008 all vehicles sold in the U.S. are required to implement CAN as one of their signaling protocols. Pin 6, CAN high Pin 14, CAN low Gun signal voltage level, 3.5 volts min, max 2.75 to 4.50 CANL signal voltage level, 1.5 volts min, max 0.5 to 2.25 All OBD2 pinouts use the same connector, but different pins are used with the exception of pin 4 battery ground and pin 16 battery positive. Topic. OBD2 diagnostic data available OBD2 provides access to data from the Engine Control Unit AQ and offers a valuable source of information when troubleshooting problems inside a vehicle. 
The SAE J1979 standard defines a method for requesting various diagnostic data and a list of standard parameters that might be available from the AQ. The various parameters that are available are addressed by parameter identification numbers, parameter IDs or PIDs, which are defined in J1979. For a list of basic PIDs, their definitions, and the formula to convert raw OBD2 output to meaningful diagnostic units, see OBD2 PIDs. Manufacturers are not required to implement all PIDs listed in J1979 and they are allowed to include proprietary PIDs that are not listed. The PID request and data retrieval system gives access to real-time performance data as well as flagged DTCs. For a list of generic OBD2 DTCs suggested by the SEI, see Table of OBD2 Codes. Individual manufacturers often enhance the OBD2 code set with additional proprietary DTCs. Diagnostic services Here is a basic introduction to the OBD communication protocol according to ISO 15031-5. Service $01 is used to identify what powertrain information is available to the scan tool. Service $02 displays freeze frame data. Service $03 lists the emission related, confirmed, diagnostic trouble codes stored. It displays exact numeric, four digit codes identifying the faults. Service $04 is used to clear emission related diagnostic information. This includes clearing the stored pending, confirmed DTCs and freeze frame data. Service $05 displays the oxygen sensor monitor screen and the test results gathered about the oxygen sensor. There are 10 numbers available for diagnostics. $01 rich to lean O2 sensor threshold voltage. $02 lean to rich O2 sensor threshold voltage. $03 low sensor voltage threshold for switch time measurement. $04 high sensor voltage threshold for switch time measurement. $05 rich to lean switch time in MIS. $06 lean to rich switch time in MIS. $07 minimum voltage for test. $08 maximum voltage for test. $09 time between voltage transitions in MIS. Service $06 is a request for onboard monitoring test results for continuously and non continuously monitored system. There are typically a minimum value, a maximum value, and a current value for each non-continuous monitor. Service $07 is a request for emission-related diagnostic trouble codes detected during current or last completed driving cycle. It enables the external test equipment to obtain pending diagnostic trouble codes detected during current or last completed driving cycle for emission-related components, systems. This is used by service technicians after a vehicle repair, and after clearing diagnostic information to see test results after a single driving cycle to determine if the repair has fixed the problem. Service $08 could enable the off-board test device to control the operation of an onboard system, test, or component. Service $09 is used to retrieve vehicle information. Among others, the following information is available. VIN – Vehicle Identification Number – Vehicle ID Khalid calibration identification ID for the software installed on the AQ CVN calibration verification number number used to verify the integrity of the vehicle software the manufacturer is responsible for determining the method of calculating CVNs e.g. using checksum in use performance counters gasoline engine catalyst primary oxygen sensor evaporating system egr system vvt system secondary air system and secondary oxygen sensor diesel engine nmhc catalyst nox reduction catalyst nox absorber particulate matter filter exhaust gas sensor egr system vvt system boost pressure control fuel system service 0 dollars a lists emission related permanent Diagnostic trouble codes stored. As per CARB, any diagnostic trouble codes that is commanding MIL on and stored into non-volatile memory shall be logged as a permanent fault code. Topic. OBD applications Various tools are available that plug into the OBD connector to access OBD functions. 
These range from simple generic consumer level tools to highly sophisticated OEM dealership tools to vehicle telematic devices. Topic: <laughs> Handheld scan tools. A range of rugged handheld scan tools is available. Simple fault code readers, reset tools are mostly aimed at the consumer level. Professional handheld scan tools may possess more advanced functions. Access more advanced diagnostics. Set manufacturer or vehicle specific AQ parameters. Access and control other control units, such as air bag or ABS. Real-time monitoring or graphing of engine parameters to facilitate diagnosis or tuning. Topic. Mobile device-based tools and analysis Mobile device applications allow mobile devices such as cell phones and tablets to display and manipulate the OBD2 data accessed via USB adapter cables, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi adapters plugged into the car's OBD2 connector. A number of new devices allow the vehicle's OBD port to stream data directly to the Internet via a cellular connection. PC-based scan tools and analysis platforms A PC-based OBD analysis tool that converts the OBD2 signals to serial data USB or serial port standard to PCs or Macs. The software then decodes the received data to a visual display. Many popular interfaces are based on the ELM or STN OBD interpreter ICs, both of which read all five generic OBD2 protocols. Some adapters now use the J2534 API allowing them to access OBD2 protocols for both cars and trucks. In addition to the functions of a handheld scan tool, the PC-based tools generally offer large storage capacity for data logging and other functions, higher resolution screen than handheld tools, the ability to use multiple software programs adding flexibility to the extent that a PC tool may access manufacturer or vehicle specific AQ diagnostics varies between software products as it does between handheld scanners. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Data loggers. Data loggers are designed to capture vehicle data while the vehicle is in normal operation for later analysis. Data logging uses include Engine and vehicle monitoring under normal operation, for the purpose of diagnosis or tuning. Some auto insurance companies offer reduced premiums if OBD2 vehicle data loggers or cameras are installed, and if the driver's behavior meets requirements. This is a form of auto insurance risk selection. Monitoring of driver behavior by fleet vehicle operators. Analysis of vehicle black box data may be performed on a periodic basis, automatically transmitted wirelessly to a third party, or retrieved for forensic analysis after an event such as an accident, traffic infringement, or mechanical fault. Topic: <laughs> Emission testing. In the United States, many states now use OBD2 testing instead of tailpipe testing in OBD2 compliant vehicles 1996 and newer. Since OBD2 stores trouble codes for emissions equipment, the testing computer can query the vehicle's onboard computer and verify there are no emission related trouble codes and that the vehicle is in compliance with emission standards for the model year it was manufactured. In the Netherlands, 2006 and later vehicles get a yearly EOBD emission check. Topic. Driver's supplementary vehicle instrumentation Driver's supplementary vehicle instrumentation is installed in a vehicle in addition to that provided by the vehicle manufacturer and intended for display to the driver during normal operation. This is opposed to scanners used primarily for active fault diagnosis, tuning, or hidden data logging. Auto enthusiasts have traditionally installed additional gauges such as manifold vacuum, battery current etc. The OBD standard interface has enabled a new generation of enthusiast instrumentation accessing the full range of vehicle data used for diagnostics, and derived data such as instantaneous fuel economy. Instrumentation may take the form of dedicated trip computers, carputer or interfaces to PDAs, smartphones, or a GPS navigation unit. 
As a carputer is essentially a PC, the same software could be loaded as for PC-based scan tools and vice versa, so the distinction is only in the reason for use of the software. These enthusiast systems may also include some functionality similar to the other scan tools. Topic. Vehicle telematics OBD2 is no longer only used by professionals and hobbyists to repair vehicles. OBD2 information is commonly used by vehicle telematics devices that perform fleet tracking, monitor fuel efficiency, prevent unsafe driving, as well as for remote diagnostics and by pay as you drive insurance. Although originally not intended for the above purposes, commonly supported OBD2 data such as vehicle speed, RPM, and fuel level allow GPS-based fleet tracking devices to monitor vehicle idling times, speeding, and over-revving. By monitoring OBD2 DTCs a company can know immediately if one of its vehicles has an engine problem and by interpreting the code the nature of the problem. OBD2 is also monitored to block mobile phones when driving and to record trip data for insurance purposes. Topic: <laughs> Standards documents. Topic: <laughs> Say standards documents on OBD2. J1962 defines the physical connector used for the OBD2 interface. J1850 defines a serial data protocol. There are two variants 10.4 kilobits per second single wire VPW and 41.6 kilobits per second two wire PWM mainly used by US manufacturers also known as PCI Chrysler 10.4 kilobits per second class 2 GM 10.4 kilobits per second and SCP Ford 41.6 kilobits per second J1978 defines minimal operating standards for OBD2 scan tools. J1979 defines standards for diagnostic test modes. J2012 defines standards trouble codes and definitions. J21781 defines standards for network message header formats and physical address assignments. J21782 gives data parameter definitions. J21783 defines standards for network message frame IDs for single byte headers. J21784 defines standards for network messages with 3 byte headers. J22843 defines 500 kilobits per second can physical and data link layer. J2411 describes the GMLAN single wire CAN protocol used in newer GM vehicles. Often accessible on the OBD connector as pin 1 on newer GM vehicles. Topic. Say standards documents on HD heavy duty OBD. J1939 defines a data protocol for heavy duty commercial vehicles since 2010. Title 13 of the California Code of Regulations 1971.1 allows heavy duty class 8 diesel trucks to use either say J1939 73 OBD protocols with the J1939 13 round OBD connector or say J1979 OBD protocols with the J1962 OBD connector same as passenger car Cars, heavy trucks that use J1979, J1962 for example Mac and Volvo Trucks North America typically use 29-bitcon identifiers. Topic. ISO standards ISO 8093, Road Vehicles, Diagnostic Testing of Electronic Systems ISO 9141, Road Vehicles Diagnostic Systems. International Organization for Standardization, 1989. Part 1, Requirements for Interchange of Digital Information Part 2, CARB Requirements for Interchange of Digital Information Part 3, Verification of the Communication between Vehicle and OBD2 Scan Tool ISO 11898, Road Vehicles. Controller Area Network CAN. International Organization for Standardization, 2003. Part 1, Data Link Layer and Physical Signaling. Part 2, High Speed Medium Access Unit. Part 3, Low Speed, Fault Tolerant, Medium Dependent Interface. 
Part 4, Time Triggered Communication ISO 14230, Road Vehicles — Diagnostic Systems — Keyword Protocol 2000, International Organization for Standardization, 1999 Part 1, Physical Layer Part 2, Data Link Layer Part 3, Application Layer Part 4, Requirements for Emission-Related Systems ISO 14320 No Data ISO 15031, Communication Between Vehicle and External Equipment for Emissions-Related Diagnostics, International Organization for Standardization, 2010. Part 1, General Information and Use Case Definition Part 2, Guidance on Terms, Definitions, Abbreviations and Acronyms Part 3, Diagnostic Connector and Related Electrical Circuits, Specification and Use Part 4, External Test Equipment Part 5, Emissions-Related Diagnostic Services Part 6, Diagnostic Trouble Code Definitions Part 7, Data Link Security ISO 15765, Road Vehicles. Diagnostics on Controller Area Networks CAN. International Organization for Standardization, 2004. Part 1, General Information. Part 2, Network Layer Services ISO 15765-2. Part 3, Implementation of Unified Diagnostic Services UDS on CAN. Part 4, Requirements for Emissions-Related Systems Topic. Security issues Researchers at the University of Washington and University of California examined the security around OBD, and found that they were able to gain control over many vehicle components via the interface. Furthermore, they were able to upload new firmware into the engine control units. Their conclusion is that vehicle embedded systems are not designed with security in mind. There have been reports of thieves using specialist OBD reprogramming devices to enable them to steal cars without the use of a key. The primary causes of this vulnerability lie in the tendency for vehicle manufacturers to extend the bus for purposes other than those for which it was designed, and the lack of authentication and authorization in the OBD specifications, which instead rely largely on security through obscurity. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration has demonstrated the ability to take over certain functions through wires to the car's control center. In 2012, vehicles produced by BMW, Porsche, Opel, Renault, Mercedes, Volkswagen, and Toyota were stolen by programming a blank key fob to start the car through the OBD connection. BMW offered all owners a free fix through a software update, and all newer vehicles have upgraded software that fixed this vulnerability. Topic. See also OBD2 PIDs, Parameter IDs, Engine Control Unit, Immobilizer, JTAG, ELM327 Very common integrated circuit inside scan tools, Scan tool, automotive scan tool that can connect to the DLC. Data link connector automotive the standard data link connector can bus originally for multiplex electrical wiring within automobiles but is also used in many other contexts vehicle bus specialized internal communications network that interconnects components inside a vehicle topic references notes Topic. External links Directive 9869, EC of the European Parliament and of the Council of 13 October 1998 National OBD Clearing House Center for Automotive Science and Technology at Weber State University United States Environmental Protection Agency OBD Information for Repair Technicians, Vehicle Owners, and Manufacturers OBD2 vehicle plug pinouts including compatibility lists manufacturer specific OBD2 diagnostics pinouts and compatibility information. Is my car OBD2 compatible and supported by OBD scanner software? Is my car OBD2 compatible and supported by OBD scanner software?